corporate governance has made significant progress in the past few years in South Africa, and South Africa has yes. also put itself as a leader in corporate governance around the world uh, because of different codes, the King codes, and so on and so yes. forth. At the same time, South Africa also suffers from a significant lack of accountability, both in the public and the private sector, because of old practices, because of a system that hasn't yet lived up to the expectations. So I think corporate governance has a significant difference to make, and we need to support the good practices in business um, so that we can actually change governance altogether in the entire country. We should never forget that corruption, for instance, is a bilateral crime. So what we see reflected in the public sector is also something that originates in the private sector. For any corrupter, there's always a corruptee. And so that, that relationship involves both the public and the private sector. What we we'll believe that the role of business in the 21st century will have to be very different from the role of business in the 20th century. So we need new models. We need hybrid formations, organizations that are not only seeking profit, but also quality profit, and that are uh, contributing positively to the uplift and to the development of the entire society. So our center works on, on what we call governance innovation also in the corporate sector. So the idea of promoting different types of organizations, different types of businesses, businesses that unite a strong ethical principle with also a, a drive for innovation. So these are the things that we're working with. In, in a sense, you know, supporting also the, the, the extremely important role of small businesses that in a country like South Africa can make the most significant contribution to decent work employment and, and a better quality of life for all. We work on governance holistically, we focus on different levels of governance. We focus on the public sector, we focus on business, we focus on the non-profit and the third sector. We also focus on global governance, trends and issues. And I think this is quite crucial. We cannot think of modernizing and innovating in one bubble, in one single national system, when the world is experiencing different and at times uh, contrasting trends. So we need to be able to link the national trends to the global trends. And at the same time, we can also affect those global trends. And I think South Africa, in many ways, has played that role, uh, paving the way for a different business model globally. And now I believe it needs to live up to that expectation also in terms of how it rethinks its own development trajectory in nation. So uh, that's why we believe that we need to support all types of innovation. Maybe some of the leaders of today and tomorrow are still to be found. Mm -hmm. Maybe these are not the leaders that we often see on TV. Maybe these are the leaders that on a day-to-day -day basis make a difference and all they need is to be made visible. So in a sense, what we're trying to do is to show that the economy is much more than meets the eye, that the economy is much more than a few companies. The economy is an entire national system of people, communities that are contributing to the progress and prosperity of this nation. But I believe the leader of the future will actually be a collective effort, it will not be one single person, but it will be a collective initiative taken by different groups in society that collectively, together and collaboratively, shape a better future. Well, we see that corporate governance over the past four years, that's the time frame that we have been running the index for, as initially uh, deteriorated and then steadily improved. Um, we also believe that our systems are extremely innovative, but there is a bit of a gap between what the law says and what the systems that are even implemented uh, demand and what the practices are. So this gap has to be filled. Our index shows that we are certainly improving, but we're still far from the optimum. Um, in an optimal condition, our index should actually receive its maximum value, which is 4. We're still hovering around 2.9, which um, in a sense is not average. It still means that we're be behind what the requirements are. So, and, and, and so this is why I believe that South Africa has a significant role to play, because the rules are really innovative, and all we need is the capacity to live up to those rules and expectations. Making money will no longer be enough for a business to enjoy a license to operate. So what we need is more businesses that are, of course, making a profit, 
but at the same time are contributing to the well-being of society. So this is what good corporate governance will help them do. And seriously, a good corporate governance is what is going to make or break companies in the future. Shareholder value will become less and less significant and society will expect business to be good citizens. They will no longer look at the bank accounts, they will look more and more at what they do to increase the well-being of communities, to increase accountability both in the public and in the private sector, and to contribute to a prosperous society. That's what business future is all about.